Alright, here's another one of my first look videos. <coughs> this is a General Electric 19 inch color television. And when I say it's free, I have just brought it in. It's a uh, 19 C3708W from 1982 has the mini manual and I'm going to remove these antennas because they're useless now and the loop ones have been broken off I'm going to definitely start cleaning it I kind of like these older TVs like this for the main reason that they work really good with old game systems and computers. New modern flat panel sets when you feed them, especially an RF NTSC signal from something like that that does not have composite outputs, it really looks like crap. Um, if you've ever ran an LCD monitor, like a 17 inch or 19 inch at uh, 640 by 480 you get an idea of what it kind of does so I'm going to start cleaning this up and then we'll see so I've got it cleaned up a little bit here and I'm about to do a test on it I use one of my favorite laser discs from the late 80's uh, it's a very high quality laser disc it was actually shot in Beta SP, 35 millimeter, and high vision, um, uh, high definition, and down converted NTSC. I use my laser disc player. Here's a source, and then it goes in this little RF modulator, and had to steal this bow in from another TV because this TV does not have a uh, so new 5 volt ohm input. Uh, so you can hear the audio just in case. There's also various. This is a GE VR2. Which v, VIR, which uh, means vertical and overall reference. Playing, so let's see. Okay, it does play. Controls are very dirty. It does play. There's a lot of artifacts caused by this. Not too horrible. Let's hear how it sounds. I'm gonna mute the stereo. Yeah, dirty, just like everything else. Oh, it's either full off or full off. Nice. So there's something wrong there. And there is no color in the picture right now. I've got fold over. It's not as high as it should be. 
So I'm going to have to do some work here. Should be interesting. I've never played with the General Electric before. And uh, I know all the controls are absolutely filthy. This thing was filthy. It was like it was sitting in a dirt pile. That's interesting. I flip on the VIRR, it picks up a signal and tries to adjust the color. Yeah, tuner is extremely touchy. It won't be anything on UHF. I don't even think we have any low power stations. Right? This is just noise. So, yeah, that's the update on this, and uh, I'm going to pull the mini manual off of the back and start giving it a look over.